Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking on today's video and welcome to my channel. This video is about a young man who was adopted as a baby but then managed to find his birth mother. He goes and meets her daily, but she doesn't really know that he's her son. This is honestly one of the most wholesome stories that I've ever read and it has a wonderful ending. I do hope that you enjoyed this story. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Anyhow, on to the story. She had me when she was 14, and I, a 24-year-old male, was given up for adoption. My parents told me about her growing up. I still have the letter she wrote me where she asked if they could give it to me if they wanted. It's crazy reading it sometimes, and knowing that it was a literal child who wrote it, saying that she's sorry that she couldn't be my mommy, but that she hopes that I'm happy. She was open to having contact, but we moved for my dad's job when I was 11, and then it seemed impossible to find her. But luckily, I did. She's working at the small restaurant, and I keep going, but she doesn't know it's me. We talk sometimes, and she seems like a nice lady. Sometimes, when she says something like, Do you want a refill, honey? or uses another term like that, I want to tell her. I don't know why it makes me nervous. We talk sometimes, and she seems really genuine. If it's not super busy, she's more open to talking about random stuff. I literally drive two hours to come eat at this place, just to see her. And it's like she knows me already, because I'm there once or two times a week for the past three months, so she always says hi with a big smile. But man, if only she knew. She didn't give you up out of spite. It's a child who love you. Please tell her. Because I think for her, this would be the biggest joy in her life. Giving up a baby while she leaves you a letter to meet. Hun, she loves you. 14 or 80, a mother's love doesn't change. Otherwise, she would have erased any way to contact her. It wouldn't surprise me you're the biggest hole left in her heart, because a mother is never whole when she lost a child who she loves. If you're too scared, write a letter about yourself with a phone number or a mail, or leave a baby photo she would recognize with your name and your phone number in an envelope with her name on it. Then you don't have to say, I'm your son. But take the step, because regret is more painful than the present, and every moment counts. The present is the only thing you can change. You deserve her, and she definitely deserves you. I used to long for my daughter that was adopted. I would visit a neighborhood park, watching all the children to see if I might recognize something in a child that would tell me was mine. Years later, when my daughter was older, I sought her out. We have a wonderful relationship for the last 15 years. She was at that park. I found out she grew up five miles from me. She could be craving reconnection as much as I did. I wish you a fulfilled journey and much love. Tell her, please. I know it's difficult, but you say you want to. My mom gave up her first son through a closed adoption and searched for him for 30 years. It was heartbreaking when he finally found her and turned out to not be a great person. You've already met her and you know that the two of you get along. I don't know either of you, but knowing what your mom went through, I doubt that a day goes by where she doesn't wonder where you are. My mom had me young. My father wasn't in the picture. He ended up having kids, unbeknownst to me, since I never had any itch to look him up. However, his daughter, my half-sister, was seeking a connection. Someone that could relate to them and was just essentially stalking me for years on the internet. I say that with the most love. I promise you, she will also eventually enjoy the journey of not knowing as much as you finally sharing the secret. I felt so alone for years, and the minute I met my sister, it was like a piece of myself I was missing for years reunited. I can't imagine it, being a mother, but she thinks about you constantly. I'm certain. This was so great to read. I'm in a very familiar situation as you, except that I'm the younger half-sister. I didn't know I had a brother until my father accidentally let the information slip when I was in college. 
I spent many years looking for him, but it was hard because all that I knew was his first name, which was very common, and the approximate birth year. My father has never agreed to talk about him outside of that one time. There's a lot of shame and denial. When I finally found my brother last year, he lives two hours away and seems cool, and I casually stalk his wife and daughter on social media, wanting to meet all of them but not knowing how he'd feel about me reaching out. Maybe there's a reason he hasn't been looking for us, like reasonably being pissed at our father. I've just always wanted to know him. I think about it all the time. I found my half-brother and contacted him. I said, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I think we might be related. Do you know anything about that? I didn't want to mention our dad in case that he didn't know, as he grew up with his mom and non-biological dad. His mom had told him about me when he was 18. I found him three years later. He said that he didn't want to meet up and he didn't want to meet our dad as he abandoned him. I agreed and for the last three years we only messaged on birthdays and Christmas. I got a message a couple of days ago. He's changed his mind and wants to meet me, but not our dad. We're planning for the end of January. It might take a while and you might not hear what you want to straight away, but I'd say go for it. Well, I did it. I told her. And yeah, it was pretty heavy. My heart was even beating fast. I kept trying to think, how do I tell her? Many of the comments on my last post here mentioned writing her a letter, just like how she wrote me one. That was the original plan, but for me, it felt like I needed to say it out loud. Oh, real quick, I want to say thanks to everyone for their love and support. Mostly to all the birth parents out there who shared their stories with me. That's what really helped push me to have the courage to confront her. It meant so much. Thank you. Everything happened the day before yesterday, by the way. I did wait for her to be done with her shift, and that was when they were closing the restaurant already. And I then waited in the parking lot. We said hi when she saw me first, but then I told her that there was something serious that she needed to know. I first told her that I was sorry for keeping it from her for this long. She didn't react until I actually pulled out her letter. And she started bawling from there. Like screaming and crying at the same time. And I didn't even have to finish the whole I'm your son speech. She just saw it and knew. It was honestly crazy. The next thing I know, she's hugging me instantly. But then she pulled back and asked if it's okay to hug me. Of course it is and we're just there hugging and crying in the parking lot. It hit her hard though. Her legs gave out for a second, so I had to actually hold her up while she's still hugging me for a minute. What really got me was her saying to me, look how big you got. Also hearing her cry made me cry too. She went back to open the restaurant up. She wouldn't take no for an answer. We had coffee, ate a slice of pie inside and talked. There was so much stuff we talked about. She told me the second time that I came to the restaurant she got a feeling, but for her it was hard to believe that it was me. So she pushed the feeling that she had down. Because she told me that for years after I was adopted, she saw kids that would be my age and used to think that they were me. Then she would be crying in public. It honestly messed with her mind a lot and made her depressed. So she didn't want to do the same thing when she saw me, you know, getting her hopes up like that. She says that I look so much like my biological dad when he was younger though. We talked about him too. They stayed in contact with each other in case I ever reached out to one of them, so it would be easier to contact the other. I didn't have hopes about finding my biological dad since he was never mentioned, so I'm glad that they both planned for this future scenario. She told me how they wanted to keep me, especially my biological dad. He didn't want me to be adopted, but he knew that they had to because they were just kids. It took him a long time to get past it after I was born, she told me. That's why he didn't leave anything to me, because he didn't want to believe that he might not see me again. We talked for hours, till almost 2am in the morning. They closed at 11 by the way. She just wanted to know everything about me, but her main thing was, am I happy? Were my parents good to me? 
did I have a happy childhood? And I did. I told her, thank you for helping to give me this life. We both cried again. She cried the most. Everything was very emotional for her. Sometimes she would look really happy, but then get sad again. After my 18th birthday, she was hoping that I would find her. That's why she stayed in the same city. But since I didn't, she always thought that maybe I resented her, wasn't told I was adopted, or maybe had decided that it was better not to have her around. It made me feel bad for not telling her sooner. She told me that it's not my fault and I did the right thing going at my own pace. Honestly, she's so sweet. The way that she kept looking at me with the biggest smile, it made me emotional sometimes. It makes you think how can someone who's been a total stranger your whole life look at you with so much love. It's honestly wild. We learned so much about each other. She asked me if we could have dinner soon to keep talking. And if at some point in the future, if I'm interested coming over to her house so that I can meet her husband. That all sounded really great. We exchanged numbers. After I left, she sent a text telling me thank you for giving her this gift that she didn't know if it would ever come. My girlfriend came over and she hugged me while I cried. I wasn't sad by the way. These were happy tears. Everything went better than I expected. There was still emotionally heavy stuff, but I'm still glad that we got to open up to each other. Lots of you asked to let you know how it goes meeting my biological dad. And to say it was emotional is an understatement. I've been feeling so many things since this all happened. We met a few days ago. It was originally supposed to be almost two weeks ago, but stuff kept coming up. Work. And then I got sick for days, not COVID by the way, but we made it happen. To be honest, this was more nerve wracking for me because I didn't know anything about him. With my biological mom, it was different because I watched her from afar and got to know her a little bit before it came out. I asked my biological mom if she could be there too, just because she knows him better. So it was the two of us waiting for him at this park. He was already crying before we even got to him. This guy is strong too, so he pulled me in for the biggest bear hug and crying. He told me that he wanted me to know that they love me so much and that he loves me. I lost count of how many times he'd come back in for one more hug. This definitely got to him. And he kept saying, thank you God, a few more times. Looking at my face, the feelings man, the feelings. We had so many of them. Hearing him tell me how much they love me even back then, it meant so much for me to hear that and I'm not gonna lie, that had me holding him tight too. I'm sure to everyone at the park it was weird seeing three people crying. My bio dad said that he cried so many times just driving over here. He didn't think that he had any more tears until he saw us. When we were all sitting down, it hit me that my biological mom was not lying when she says that we look alike. Obviously, he's older, but oh my god, the similarities. He bought gifts too, which was a surprise. It was really nice. He told me that I didn't have to keep them if I didn't want it, but he felt weird not coming with anything and he wanted to give them to me for a long time. One was a teddy bear holding a picture frame of him at the hospital holding me. He was 15 years old. It's still crazy to realize that. And then the other thing was a journal. The journal thing was stuff that he said he wanted to write to me years after I was adopted. He was in therapy and that helped him to cope, thinking that he would give them to me one day. His way of still feeling connected to me. I haven't read everything yet. But some of the pages were his thoughts and like he's talking to me. How he felt when they found out she was pregnant, then the adoption, everything going on in his mind when he first got a hold of me as a baby. I didn't even know he was at the hospital. It was not what I was expecting. It really got to me. I read some more of what he wrote last night that really got me crying. I'm sad to think how much of this affected them emotionally for years. Also to think that it's pretty sweet that he wanted to write this for me. 
We talked about his own life, which was pretty hard. He struggles with home life and the feelings that he had about giving me up. Then he wanted to know everything about me. Basically, with the same questions my bio mom had. I made sure they knew that they made the right decision, because my life was pretty great. He looked like he wanted to cry when he knew that, because that's all they hoped for, and it was something that he always wondered about for years. My bio mom left a little bit after we were more comfortable, so that we could talk more in private once it didn't feel too awkward between us. From there, he told me stories about how he met my bio mom. Sometimes he'd point out stuff he'd notice about me that reminds me of her, or me and him having similar likes. Example, I love eating mangoes. I can eat them all day and that's what I bought when we bought snacks at the park. He told me that my bio mom was obsessed with mangoes, even before she got pregnant, and while pregnant she craved it even more. Just cool information to know even if it's random stuff. It's still stuff we have in common and we both have lots. We both like hiking, playing pool. He was a swimmer in college and I was on a swim team in high school. We both love rock music, especially the 90s. My bio dad was really open about sharing everything. Like he was really getting ready for this meeting. He hoped it would happen and he prayed every day to see me again because he had so many things that he wanted to tell me. Overall, it was a really good first meeting. I'm glad how it went. He's open to the idea of meeting my parents. After I told them about all of this because they definitely want to meet my biological parents again, if I'm comfortable with that. And obviously if my bio parents are too. Let's see what happens. I don't know how it's gonna feel for me. They've met each other before I was even born, but I never had them at the same place. So that'll be interesting. Me and my parents met up yesterday to have breakfast so that I could tell them everything. My mom was so happy about how it went. She actually cried too when I was telling them about both of their reactions. My dad was proud because he knew how hard it was for the months after finding my bio mom and not really wanting to make contact yet. I'm really happy to have their support because it's hard not to feel guilty about wanting to know more about my biological parents. They gave me a really good life, so for a while, it felt like maybe to them, I'm not showing them that that wasn't good enough for me and I'd rather have my biological parents. But they told me many times that they wanted me to do this for me, and they know how much I love them. And I really do. Finding them and meeting them was hard, but it was so worth it for me. And seeing their reactions made it feel even more worth it. I still can't believe it sometimes. I'm just realizing this has turned into a long post. My bad. Writing this has been therapeutic to be honest. Kind of thinking back to everything that's happened, I'm feeling really grateful. Again, I want to say thank you to everyone who has been on this journey with me. Everyone who sent me their own stories, their love and their encouragement. You guys have beautiful hearts and I'm happy that I had somewhere to talk about it all. And receive so much love back. I just want to say to all the adopted kids out there, I wish you guys luck and that you find what you're looking for. It's not easy at all. I feel fortunate that things didn't go badly or that my bio parents aren't bad people. And to all the birth parents out there who made this sacrifice, thank you. It's because of you that there are kids out there like me who got to have a great life with loving parents. So guys, what did you think about this? Honestly, I think that this is one of the best Reddit updates out there. Like, hands down, I have not read a better one. It just brought me so much joy and happiness. I wish the best for OP, I wish the best for his adoptive parents, and I wish the best for his biological parents. This post was about 4 months ago and OP hasn't updated anything since then beyond a comment that wasn't really related to any update. So I think this is about it. I'm just going to assume that they have a happily ever after because this is what everyone deserves. Anyways, I do hope that you enjoyed the story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to hear more stories from Reddit with updates.